Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and today I'm going to try to make something like Classmatic. Bienvenidos al Festival del Sol. So let's get straight into it guys so to me it sounds like very latin based percussive house music first thing we need is a kick so i'm gonna pick something that's not too punchy for example in the new deceiver five pack there's these kicks with a hell of a punch in the front we don't want that calavera his tracks are like around 130 129 so they feel a lot faster so we're gonna go with that as well let's get an open hat there's possibilities we can use a shaker or standard open hat I think a shaker fits that vibe a little more. So we're going to go for the loop like that. I'll probably layer with an open hat later on. Let's move on to the clap. For this, I'll use a drum rack just in case I want to layer up. Damn, that's fucking tasty. But from there, I'm going to use a utility to mono it a bit. In fact, I might even mono the open hat. We'll see. Just depends on the vibe. I need something strong with it. I might use this, put a filter on it just to remove the highs and see how that sounds like with it. Let's get the close hat beat in there. Yes. And then here. Let's apply a bit of an EQ on this <laughs> to get rid of the lows. An auto pan. It seems like he likes to use that a lot, so we'll try it too. So from there, we can take multiple approaches. I realize that Ableton has like these perks I could probably use. We'll try the Bongo and Congo one here. That didn't sound bad. A lot of reverb. It's up on that. There, like something. Maybe even like this would be better. The bongos, dude. Uh huh. Tell me, I. Whoop, boom, bah. We're gonna saturate more. Now, most of these things will have a key to them, so I'm always on the lookout. It looks like it's at E. I'll probably use auto tune on this. Let's try it. Input type instrument. Let's go maybe like F minor, if possible. So at the base, I'm going to use the operator from Ableton just to keep it simple. I feel like we can get away with using a, just a good sub that has like some upper harmonics to it. Using operator, we have a sign already. Let's put it down to C. Optimal range. And then we can use some of these waves like the saw. Give us one of these, which are sort of like saws that are filtered. Has that vibe to it. That means is the frequencies aren't as pronounced. There's a bit of release. The sound lingers, so we're going to lower that. There we go. So there's sustain and decay, so that way we get a little bit of punch at least. Pitch envelope. Try that a bit. All right, so this is the hard part. It's making a bass. There's really no theory for me other than maybe getting inspired from the Congo loop and trying out different things at work. So I feel like the Congo loop needs to go at least with the bass to some degree. We maybe we can even add our own rhythm, So we'll go with the, the, the Congo, but then from there do something different, like maybe go even higher to some weird note. Oh, just let this open up more louder. Yes, we'll add swing later with something, but for now, let's just get this beat going. 
tämmönen ta, 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 ta. Here I'm just hitting random notes, trying to come up with something. And then, yeah, from here I can do a sustain, doo -doo -doo -doo, maybe like this. Yeah. Slower this one. From there, let's see if we can make this more interesting. So I kind of don't want this to have too much of a of a key, like a stable key. So that's the pitch envelope. You can put it up. Maybe the decay can be a little longer, so that way we never hit the actual note we're trying to hit. So it's more of a pitch sweep. Retrig on for sure. Playing with sustained decay. See if we can add maybe like this to open up a bit. Okay. I fuck. Not too bad. Now I don't like the glide, so let's avoid that. Okay, okay, not too bad. Let's see. I want to create some like clap accentuation so for this i'm just going to layer more claps and what clap accentuations will do is when you have a beat already like this the most that you can start to do is layer up on certain parts where you want to emphasize a certain part of the beat so for example and it makes that a very strong beat but let's be so then maybe every second we could do that Open hat, man. I think that's what's missing too. Some sustain, some kind of open hat that. That's actually not bad. I just looked that up. Sure, I'll use this shit. Fuck it. Will a shaker add anything to this? I'm not sure if that's I'm allowed to do it because I have shake uh, close hats going, but we're gonna try it because at this point this is the part where you're like, what the fuck do I do? Okay, that's not too bad. Let's command you to warp it. I'm going to add this ride, which is going to act sort of like as another accentuation for the open hat. But I learned this from teaching one of my students where I noticed that some producers play around with this ride pretty good, the decay and everything on it. So let's see if we can do something similar. As I continue to move forward, the beat is asking for stuff. Like, for instance, in my head, I'm hearing all these little things. Like, for instance, here. So I feel like adding this sort of bongo fill would be dope. Yeah, we, I feel like we need to cue this guy. Let's tell it to chill.
and obviously put it in key. What key is this in? It looks like C, C, C sharp. So we'll go up to, cause that's where we're at. C sharp D. D. Puta madre. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, reverb to this clap here. Convolution just to give it a certain space and to give a bit more sustain when it does happen. Ooh, but let's EQ that a little nicer, like so it's it's warmer. From here, I'm, I'm running out of ideas. It feels like I could add more to this, so I'm gonna try and out some loops and see if I can get anything from them. Trying out different stuff here. Always going with this. This one because it, it fills in a lot that I'm missing and then from there I'm pretty happy. So I think that bongo loop is just putting in the most work out of this to make it actually feel like classmatic in a way. Oh, okay. Let's go with uh to the kick. It doesn't need to be too yeah. We can add some pump. Some the bass can open up more. We could do this, but I feel like when you have congos, they take up a lot of the upper space of the bass, so you're not allowed to do that because then it's a bitch to mix. So we gotta go with a lower. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video there. Obviously, with this genre, there's a lot more to it than just the eight bar loop, as there's a lot of drum motifs that occur. It's just not this damn loop for the whole song. There's motifs that come in. Uh, what I recommend you guys to do is if you're really interested in making this kind of stuff, contact Cuba, uh, Cuba, uh, the West Africa one, anything with tribalish sort of drums where you're gonna go, or you can just use packs with a bunch of loops, which most producers do. However, if you want to take it further, you can make your own percussive loops like so. It's not that hard. You just got to put in a little bit of work. And sometimes it's going to sound a lot cleaner than using a loop because, again, you are not you don't have a jumble mess happening. You're being very selective about what you're allowing in your song. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to support the pack, enjoyed any of the sounds in this video, a lot of the drums were from Deceiver Volume 5, Deceiver Volume 3. Come out. But other than that, you guys take care and you guys have a great rest of your day.